planetary dispositors play an important role in astrology. The dispositor is a planet in whose sign another planet is located in the natal chart and which resident planet gains strength when its dispositor is also strong. Dispositor The dispositor is the planet which is the ruler of the sign or house that is occupied by any another sign or house lord. Western astrology looks upon planetary dispositors as the final response to the meaning of an aspect in a horoscope, and it prefers drawing up of dispositor trees that assist in determining in the natal chart the temporal status and the active nature of all planets. The concept of planetary dispositors is not new to Hindu astrology. The ancient Hindu texts on Hindu predictive astrology have described numerous yogas based on this principle. In fact, most yogas are dependent upon the benefit placement of the dispositors of the planets giving rise to those yogas. In Hindu astrology the planetary dispositor is also known as the poshika, meaning the nourisher, because it tends to aid the occupant of its sign or house. <laughs> <laughs> dispositor's role Whether the planet occupying a particular sign and bhava will act as a benefit or a malefic also depends upon its dispositor acting as a benefit or a malefic. If the sign and the navamsa of the dispositor are both strong then they add to the strength of the resident planet. The result of the aspect of the dispositor on its own occupied sign or house or on any other planet depends upon its own basic nature, and its acquired strength and qualities. Dispositors tend to give results of planets which are occupying their signs, they carry the tendencies of those planets. The Sun. Saturn, Rahu and the Lord of Twelfth House possess separatist tendencies in respect of marriage, partnership etc. Winking face, their dispositor will also carry the same separatist tendencies wherever it be situated. The role of dispositors in conjunctions and aspects is important and cannot be ignored. The status acquired by dispositors of Sahams, the sensitive points, in the Varshafala charts is equally important. The saham that is aspected by its dispositor or a benefit prospers or if the dispositor aspects the lanya, but not so when the aspecting planet is itself weak in strength or occupies the sixth, the eighth, or the twelfth house. <laughs> <laughs> Dispositor's influence The signs the planets happen to occupy are vital for determining friendship between planets and their dispositors. When no planet occupies its own sign, then all planets so placed create a continuous flow of energy from one to the other. In the formation of Devaha Yoga, each of the seven planets, Rahu and Ketu excluded, strong and alone are in another's sign, with one of them situated in the Lanya. In the case of Southana Parivatana, mutual exchange of signs that gives rise to a powerful yoga, two dispositors arise who then act as partners. Which one is stronger depends upon their individual awastha, particularly in the case of the two lunar nodes, Rahu and Ketu. If the dispositor is strong and unafflicted, then good results can be expected. The lunar nodes give results according to the nature and disposition of the lord of the sign and the house they occupy. Moreover, if the dispositor of either Rahu or Ketu does not own an evil house i.e. the sixth, the eighth or the twelfth, or is not a functional malefic by virtue of owning the third or the eleventh and is a benefit for the ascendant then these two Chayagrahas give good results. The dispositor governs the planet that happens to occupy its sign, a by becoming the Sahayogi partner of that yogi whose dispositor it is, and b by acting as a proxy for the latter. Take the case of the formation of Pushkala Yoga the lord of the sign occupied by the moon associated with the Lanya, occupies a Kendra or is in the house of an intimate friend, and the Lanya is also occupied by a powerful planet, in which event the dispositor of the moon adds strength to the moon and through the moon to the Lanya. Srinatha Yoga arises when the exalted lord of the seventh house occupies the tenth and the lord of the tenth joins the lord of the ninth in the tenth house thereby favorably strengthening and exciting the ninth and the tenth bhavas, houses. If the lord of the sign occupied by the debilitated planet is in a Kendra position from the moon or the Lanya or if the lord of the sign occupied by the debilitated planet aspects that debilitated planet, Nichavanga Raja Yoga arises, the dispositor of the lord of the Navamsa occupied by any planet too plays a pivotal role in yoga formations. 
In the case of the formation of the favorable Gauri Yoga the Lord of the Navamsa occupied by the Lord of the Tenth should be exalted in the Tenth combined with the Lord of the Lanya, and in the case of equally favorable Bharati Yoga the Lord of the Navamsa occupied by the Lords of the Second, Fifth and the Eleventh should be exalted and combined with the Lord of the Ninth. Parajata Yoga, also known as Kalpadram Yoga, arises if the Dispositor of the Lord of Lanya and the Dispositor of the Dispositor or the Lords of the Navamsas occupied by these two, attain exaltation either in a Kendra or a Trikona. <laughs> <laughs> 